What's up, my comic community? My name's Cullen, and I collect comics, and today is Tuesday, and we're gonna do last week's pulls from the comic strip. Sorry it's taken so long on this. I've had a lot going on, and this week I also had to, uh, today I had to pick up my mom from the airport in St. Louis, which also, I picked up a couple things up there, which are pretty cool, which you'll see in the next video, but let's get right to this. Uh... My local comic shop that I pick up my books from is the Comic Strip. It's on Broadway in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. If you're ever in the area, you should check it out, most definitely. Uh, first book we've got is Batman, issue number 144. And this is that uh, Joker year one uh, stuff still going on. Uh, that's, I guess, the uh, third issue of uh, Joker year one. It's got an awesome Giuseppe Camicoli cover. And uh, this actually, I think, is the fi finale. But next, we have uh, Batman and Superman World's Finest with Dan Moore of co cover, of course. Mark Wade, Dan Moore have been writing these since the start. They're pretty... Uh, next, they're pretty good, i will say. Uh, next, we've got part four of Nine Lives Catwoman of Cat and Catwoman issue number 62. And uh, this, you know, run has had such a great... I mean, it's had such a great run. Teeny Howard has been doing awesome. Uh, and Carmine D Giandano Minko doing the interiors is great, but the cover art on this is by David Nakayama is just, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, I love Nakayama stuff anyway, and these Catwoman covers have been just as good, obviously, as all the stuff that Nakayama does. Uh, next, after that, Catwoman, we're moving on to the... Fifth issue of uh, Justice League versus King Kong versus Godzilla. And uh, this has got a Drew Johnson cover. And uh, yeah, I haven't gotten to read any of this yet, but I've heard good things. I'm hoping there's good things, I imagine. Uh, I'm glad they did it. Next, we're going to move on, though, to Nightwing. And uh, we've got this regular cover by Bruno. Bruno Redondo, and of course, uh, Tom Taylor's still writing this. The Conrad, uh... Oh, uh... Oh, actually, is, is this really say the... It says it's got several different writer, or artists on this, and one of them is actually Francisco Francivella, which is awesome, because I absolutely love that guy. Next, we got the Dan Mora cover right here. And then we're going to finally finish it off by the Sweater Weather Vineyard by Nick Robles. We're finishing up DC with Titans number eight. And this has got another Dan Mora cover. Been getting a lot from Dan Mora. Tom Taylor also writing this. And, uh, yeah, that's all the DC I've gotten from the comic strip for this week. And next we are moving to Marvel. And we're starting it out with Daredevil, issue number six. This of course has a uh, this of course has a JRJR cover and it uh, has oh uh, Doctor Strange on it. I haven't been reading enough of this uh, run of uh, oh uh, Daredevil. But the next book's one that you're not going to be shocked to see in my pull list. Because tons of people got this. We've got Edge of Spider-Verse. And this is the Weapon 8 cover, of course, of Issue. That's the regular cover. But this first appearance of Weapon 8, it's been a big book. It's already gotten $15 average sales on this thing. Uh, yeah, everyone's loving it, already. I guess. Uh, Weapon 8 does some crazy stuff in this book. I'm telling you what. Like, there is some nuts stuff in this. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. Of course, you know, it's a Spider-Man version of Wolverine almost kind of thing going on. But next, we've got The Incredible Hulk, number 9. This new Incredible Hulk run. And uh, the... Uh, Oh, the cover for this is Nick Klein, and uh, it's, uh, oh, uh, I believe it's the first appearance of Frozen Charlotte, and this is Frozen Charlotte right here on the cover, or whoever this is on the, yeah, that's got to be, I know that whoever this 
person is that you're seeing the back of on the cover, it is their first appearance. And then after that, we've got the Marvel Gods. And uh, this is, uh, what, issue five also? We've had a couple issue fives this week. Uh, who did that, uh, by the way? Uh, I guess uh, Danny Earls did that last Incredible Hulk cover. And this, uh, oh, Marvel Gods cover is done by uh, Mateus uh, Monahani. And I didn't even say who did. Man, I was slacking, too. Uh, didn't say how uh, the uh, cover artist was Chad Harden on that uh, Weapon X cover, or Weapon 8 cover. But next, we're going to move on to uh, Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars Battle Wars number 4. And this has got a Giuseppe Capicoli cover. And, uh, yeah, pretty much, you know, I remember when Battle War came out when I was a kid. So I thought Battle World came out when I was a kid, and I thought it was the coolest stuff. So, you know, that's why I've been getting that. Always nostalgia, sometimes driven. If it's if, if I'm driven to nostalgia by it, then I'm sure other people will be too. That's a good thing about it. Next, we've got number four of this awesome Spider-Boy cover. And I believe this Spider-Boy issue is the... This is, of course, the Huberto Ramos cover. And it's the first appearance of Boy Spider, as you see on the back there. And, uh, yeah, he looks cool. Uh, I just like Ramos' stuff. Uh, so uh, Dan Slott's writing this, too. And the final book, we've got, of course, What Could It Be from last week that came out that was cool. We've got issue number two of Ultimate Spider-Man, volume two. And this has got a Mark Chetietto cover. And, of course, Jonathan Hickman's writing this. And this is, like, apparently the big new thing. But, yeah, so that's all I picked up from the comic strip last week. Uh, it's in Cape Girardeau, right across from the old Esquire Theater, if you ever get a chance to go by and check it out. But I'm going to get off here. I'll holler at y'all later. Thanks for watching. Peace out. See ya.